start a summary of the session right now. We started with the SP500 and as I mentioned yesterday, this market was in a value area here and we saw and I mentioned that we could see a, a retest of previous size to double uh, top. Uh, and that's apparently what this market is, how this market is behaving here. We broke the sequence of measure move lower uh, early in the week. So we had a uh, little, I uh, had little that uh, on the smaller, in the smaller time frame, this sequence down broken, as broken, and that gave me little faith uh, for a continuation lower on this trend. Okay, indeed, yesterday I mentioned this area. The market just uh, respected that area and it's pushing higher now. Where he can go? Well, he can go to previous size into 2089 here. Of course, any uh, uh, you know any weakness uh, of this market uh, on uh, on the daily will be noted, and uh, uh, it's not. Uh, it's still possible to initiate uh, a um, short if this market sh shows. Um, you know, shows weakness here, but um, you know that shot might be might be short lived, and this market is still behaving as it has been uh, behaving uh, in uh, actually in the same period last year, right? After that big move higher, then this market started. I believe this might be distribution as well, distribution area where uh, uh, you know uh, Wall Street is preparing the cows uh, for the next move lower. Uh, will it happen right now? We don't know. I don't know. But what we know is that we're going to capture it. Even later, we're going to capture it and we're going we're gonna to profit from that. Is that ethical? Uh, you tell me. It's much more unethical to not understand uh, uh, that your pension is tied to a market you do not understand. So I believe in not understanding, and I'm not talking about you, specifically you in this webinar, but generally the uh, larger uh, population. I think it's unethical to do not understand something we all profit from, which is our pension plans, which are all tied to the stock market, all right? So that's very unethical to me, especially for people who have the, um, you know, the intellectual resources, mental resources to understand what's going on <clears throat> or to learn what's going on. All right, um, despite this uh, little peep talk here, I will continue on very quickly on gold. Gold lateral move continued higher. Silver is relatively stronger. If you go back in my, um, in my previous commentaries, you will learn that I always say that silver had some catch up work to do uh, compared to gold and uh, it's spending higher highs while gold is spending lower highs and I believe that the catch up is happening and we should see this week probably this market at 1660. All right, then uh, despite the issues we had with the chat, thanks for your patience. We, um, we actually reviewed the uh, Japanese yen here and uh, we mentioned uh, an important level that's the 109.36 be careful in adding to this market be careful with short that's not time yet if the market gets into 109.35 uh, and uh, we get a few stocking timing uh, signal that's the time to get involved above 109.76 we might see we might see a higher level. Okay, so it's always very important to test these levels. I have a procedure for that, which is called the FIP stalking timing. <clears throat> so above 109.76, believe it or not, 111.20, uh, it's possible. I don't think that we will get there, but what I think, it's really not important. Mr. Market will do whatever it has to do, <laughs> and you have to respect Mr. Market. Surely I do. All right, so finally, we reviewed US dollar Canadian dollar. This market is in a continued move lower, accelerating. Uh, we're going to get to 120.60 very quickly here. And 
and um, this might happen in a few weeks. Don't uh, don't think this is going to happen in one week here. Uh, this is one month or more uh, work to be done here, but it's definitely accelerating. And we mentioned um, levels that have triggered in the past, which we were able to identify between one plus uh, two, uh, three plus days in advance on the daily time frame, and surely we would have. Uh, I mean, I I got an advantage uh, of. Uh, of the first opportunity, the second one I was preparing for for my holiday, so uh, I was not uh, there. In fact, it was the day I left and uh, <clears throat> uh, to Italy. So, um, uh, if you keep following me uh, in on this show, I hope this uh, you find this. Uh, and, uh, I will. Um, uh, I will definitely uh, keep looking uh, into this market and provide you with uh, setups that are workable and you can keep in mind uh, when you want to um, take advantage of this and continue to move lower, as I mentioned, into 120.50. All right, so thanks a lot for being here today. I hope you found this interesting. We only reviewed a few markets today, but um, it was a deeper review and uh, for those of you, and I see that a lot of you are interested uh, to the US dollar Japanese yen, I gave another level that you should be uh, watching, so uh, uh, do so, and uh, uh, I wish you uh, a great day uh, for tomorrow, and tomorrow uh, uh, we will continue and we will have the chat, I'm leaving you with a slide that reminds you that I'm a contributor to FX Street and I will have my next webinar on April the 25th. And I've also, I'm also um, recruiting at the moment for um, for my FIPSO Gamers Coaching Program. This is a 12 months program in uh, uh, 14 modules. The first, and in three main um, uh, areas, uh, the first area I, I uh, lead you and uh, guide you through the understanding of the mechanics of price and how algorithms actually um, uh, govern, govern some of the markets, uh, not all of them, but markets where the volume is very, very high and so these algorithms can actually have enough volume to uh, work with. The second uh, part uh, is related to <coughs> the uh, identification of trading systems by, set, by putting together uh, all the concept and elements that you learn in the first part. And as part of uh, this, uh, the second uh, area, I also provide a complete process to uh, identify these levels, uh, starting from the weekly time frame down to the 15 minutes time frame and the one minute time frame for timing. And I also uh, provide a process for price discovery. As part of the coaching program, I give uh, a seven trading system based on the fixed story Mouse coaching program concepts. And the third part concludes uh, the coaching program and there I uh, guide you through the, um, uh, the, the process you have to follow in order to uh, um, become profitable and on top of profit the profitability build consistency as well. All right, so if you are interested, um, Drop me an email, uh, click on the bottom above, and let me know. I still have a few um, uh, spots left. I will not go uh, over 15 uh, new uh, students because it's uh, it's quite an effort uh, uh, supporting uh, traders, new traders, and developing traders for 12 months. All right, so thanks a lot, and I'm going to see you tomorrow. I wish you a good evening, and bye-bye now.